Can you do anything that? Nope. Oh. What we got in here? Moods. It'd be kind of amusing if you could actually use the uh the barber shop and change Luigi's hairdo. We there's less wanton destru destruction around here. Am I gonna have to worry about EGAD just for the entirety of this game, just reminding me of of the stuff that I've quote unquote missed? I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, you know what? How many of these are blocked off by metal security gates, aren't they? Man, it's like I totally forgot that I just had this mechanic. Can't get through that. Let's see, you can turn it off in the lab, I think. That is actually really helpful to know. Because, yeah, I, I really don't need helpful reminders of, hey, you know that thing you just saw? Cool. Because that, I don't know, I, I hate it when games do that. And it's like, why have you done this thing yet? And it's like, this game is like 50% exploration. I, I'd almost prefer it if that's what he would say if you tried calling him. Okay, so we need some kind of love key to get through there. Oh, I can turn off the pause menu right now. Okay, so it's probably not this. Settings? Ah, hints from EGAD. Perfect. And apparently I missed a hole. Because mirrors. Which mirror? Oh, this one. So it did. There's other stuff in the way. Ooh. I just flushed out a whole pile of cash. Doesn't solve my key situation. But whatever. It's fine. Yeah, always check the mirrors. I mean, I did. It had cash in it. But then it had more than cash. Okay, so I can't get in that one. Uh, I guess I should bring Luigi Prime up. This does feel like a situation where it... I, I... Shut up, Gad. I thought I turned him off. I did turn him off, yeah? I apparently can't turn those off. So well, that's unfortunate. Screw you, paraphernalia. Ah! Spider! We Screw you, precious postcards. Oh my god. I'm just gonna have to finish this floor, aren't I? before exploring, just to get some peace. I was hoping I wouldn't. Now, it looks like this needs a spade key. Oh, we got a diamond, uh... Ball part, uh, hotel cop. Just drops. Eh. Yeah, the hotel cop dropped a, uh, a diamond key. 
So it's probably in reference to these shops. Still frustrating. And more than a little frazzled because EGAD is just like, Hints! You don't want hints! Have more hints! And I'm like, why? Why, Gad? Why? Nope, damn it. Okay. Oh my god, Gad, not now. This is not appreciated. Oh, got him. All right, there we go. There we go. Bango. You don't have to charge your light at all to stun ghosts. Good to know. Wow, that money did not want to be collected. Ah! Gad, for the love of all that is Miyamoto, shut up. Which Nintendo head is in charge of Uji's mansion. This is very unique. Well, let's go pick up that key, because it's going to drive me bananas. Otherwise. There's an option where you can remove that. Not for this floor! Wow. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I should probably... I should... Really? Wow, this vending machine super sucks. Oh, that was weird. Okay, I guess that was worth it. I wonder what happens if I knocked it over first. I wonder if I even could have. It probably wouldn't let me pull it over while it was pull up. Okay, and we got April. And there's nothing behind it for once. Machine would respawn. Interesting. Water falling down. Cup man. You probably should find somebody to report that to. Huh? <sighs> and now Egad is going to explain to us the complexities of putting a diamond key in a diamond hole. Or Luigi is. I, I, I still wish games would have kind of like a, how old are you? Or like, based on how long it takes you to do stuff, uh, it would, it would change how the game tutorializes itself, because I seriously do feel like some games need a, I am not a five-year-old meter. It would make me happier. Yeah, I don't think I can get at those. Maybe I can.
Come, Kuiji. Time for property damage! Okay. Wow. Well, I mean, I guess since everybody in this hotel is dead and I'm diametrically opposed to both of them, uh, to all things here. I guess this isn't so bad. In a real world situation, this would be felonies. I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, you'd go to prison for a while if you did this sort of thing in real life. Then again, creating weird goo clones of yourself to, uh... Let's see, creating weird goo clones of yourself specifically to rob, like, jewelry stores? That is very distinctly superhero nonsense. Whoops. Like, I'd, I'd swear there's gotta be a, uh, a B-grade super- What the? Well, that, that physics weird. That also physics very strangely. I think it's having some collision issues with the floor. Uh, and we get GM. Let's see, you can have Shell join his Guiji at this point. Yeah, but Shell is outside, I think. I should probably go check in on her at some point. I'm also having a good time. Dang it, Gucci. Oh. Okay. Shell's fine. Yeah. Yeah. She seems tired. Is that the last piece? Wanna turn off the... Uh, uh, light for this room, too? We... We bought... How much candy? We had 250-something pieces! Oh. That sucks. So, apparently we had 250 bits of candy, but some kids would get greedy and grab multiple if they could. That's a shame. I never did that unless I was told I could. Teens, babies, we're in a neighborhood of thieves. Hey, Shelly, you want to play co-op with me? You look too tight. Doorbell's pretty quiet, but you don't you don't have to. I was just figuring I'd invite you, because this game's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see, welcome back. Shell feels bad for one kid. Why, pray tell? Oh. Black Panther, but blonde. There are some people that get bothered by that sort of thing. Let's see. You mean nobody recognized the Black Panther outfit? I guess he doesn't have like a Batman symbol on his chest or Superman, so I can kind of... Holy crap, that's a lot of money. Uh-oh. Well. Disregard. Can I just walk into this pile? No. I have to absorb cash first. Good luck, Guji. Oh! There's that, too.
I guess kind of in that same vein. Uh, I think one of my first costumes I ever had when I was a kid was the Pink Power Ranger. Apparently people tried making fun of me for it, but I was like three. So I don't think I cared in the slightest. I still don't. I think it's a fine color. Okay, so have I done this one? Yeah, I have done this one. Shell had no idea what. Uh, nobody had any idea what Shell was. But apparently, someone was internet knowledgeable enough to call her a furry. Which, I mean, I guess fawns are like 50 50. Yeah, would you expect people. I already did this one. We have Spade. Wrong one. And what is Shell? She's dressed up as a fawn. It's a really good fawn costume, too. Like I said, she made it for a Renaissance, uh. Renaissance festival we went to a couple of years ago. And she. Uh oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's. This is less of a not oh and more of a just like, oh, come on. Let's see. I think there was at least one male pink ranger. I know I know there was a male yellow ranger. Uh, especially in the... In, yeah, the Japanese versions. I think they, after the Western popularity boomed, they started to make the uh, yellow ranger female slightly more often. I know pink was almost exclusively always male, but maybe not always. Oh, yeah, female. Let's see. But, like, if you, uh, if you watch the first season of Power Rangers, the, uh... If you watch the first season of Power Rangers, the uh, the Yellow Ranger in costume is played by a dude. Which is fine. I don't know. I know I had a one friend that like finding that out crushed dreams or something. Because I think he had a crush on the Yellow Ranger and then it was just like was actually play by a dude. What do I do? And I'm like, who cares, man? We were like third graders. Oh, I never got the key, did I? I did everything else, but I never actually. Oh no, I did. I did get the key. Did I think I? Yeah, I got. I got the club's key. All right, back we go. And the key's up there. Whoops. Only time there was a male pink ranger who was... Oh. Super ma mage force when they use the keys. Huh. Yeah, I, I actually know very, very little about Power Rangers. I pretty much watched the first season to completion. And then it was like... Meh. Okay, I can't get through that security gate. Is this? Nope, that's not anything. And yes, I can run up and down these. Okay. Yeah, guys, when I say please stop with the backseat gaming, I really do mean it. Like, y'all should know better. 
If I'm mildly stuck, don't tell me. If I'm really stuck and I haven't asked, don't tell me. If I'm really stuck and I'm like, okay, where do I go next? What do I do next? Then you tell me. It's like... Yeah, sure. Break the window. Okay, fine. I could have probably figured that out pretty fast. I was going to look around, try one or two other things, and then be like, oh. Yeah, break the window. Duh. But you just stole that solution from me. And you know what? I really don't like it when people do that. Because now all I have to do is just kind of wander around until I can find something capable of breaking it. I see that, but I'm not going to be able to... I don't know. Huh. It's kind of impressive. Time to break it. There we go. But yeah, I don't I don't think at this point, uh, moderators, just time people out. Especially if they're regulars, they should know better. Because this is not the first time I've said, hey, no backseat gaming. Huh? And like, <sighs> I'm going to be honest, if people are like super repeat offenders about this sort of thing, I get it, you're trying to be helpful. But like, don't. And after a certain point, I will have to say, like, don't come back. And I don't want to do that, because, like, I don't want to be mean. But, like, don't ruin this for me. I'm having fun. I'm tired as hell, but I'm having fun. I should stop at any point. Because, yeah, I'm not very awake. No, I can't get it through there, so it's got to be one of these. But these are locked by security gates, and there's no way I can get... Like you. Oh! It's this thing! This is like the only thing. Nope, never mind. I was thinking that was like one of the only things. Oh, wait, hold on. Duh. We can chuck something over that. Is there anything even in here? Well, better find out. But like, I don't play puzzle games for people to tell me how to play. Because holy shit, like, what's the point? I realize this is a, a tried topic that I've I've done over and over again. No, there's nothing over there. Because that was the obvious answer to have something big and heavy right there. Oh, God damn it! the key's right there. Stupid Guiji. And the problem is, there's a very real possibility that the window... Like, the window hint isn't even accurate. I, I might not actually be able to break that window. And now I'm barking very hard up the wrong tree because somebody told me what to do. And, you know, I saw it, so it's like, okay. I, I guess I'll just follow that bit of advice. But it could just be wrong. Yeah, it's not accurate. So now I've just spent a couple of minutes being mad with wrong information. Okay. Scissors. Oh. Oh, that's... See, this is way better! Seriously! Don't pick backseat game! Finding that out on my own was awesome! Just walking up to it and being like, wait a second, scissors, and then going from there. It's so much better. And like, that was a cool puzzle. And I don't know if it's obvious, but there's like a certain amount of actual I'm gonna say joy when I when I come up with a solution to that sort of thing. And that's why I get so upset about this, because like, I don't like having that taken from me.
Because I really like finding solutions to stuff and feeling clever. Even if it's a freaking kid's game. I don't care. But like, I don't, I don't want to get upset about this stuff. I don't know. Doesn't mean that I should probably stop soon. Even if I'm having a good time, because if I'm going to get that pissed off, then I probably should just come back in uh, another day and actually try this again when I'm awake. Looks like there's a vent that I might have been able to drop down as well, but I don't think so. No, that's probably just a light fixture. Anyway, so uh, let's see. Uh, can I play the Lego games with Shell? We tried playing Lego Lord of the Rings a long time ago, like back at the advent of my channel, and it uh, it didn't go so hot. We got wrecked. Gucci, no. Yeah, I'd like to play the Lego games at some point. The problem is they just tend to be a little bit long and finicky. Let me guess. Nope, you just broke him. Come on, Luigi, I've seen you run faster than that. I love these cutscenes, though. The, the ghost introductions are great. And he is just one brick house of a ghost. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to get surprised. Or, I gotta Toro Toro him first. I could try a couple other things. Whoops. Oh! No, you can just spook him. As long as he's attacked recently. Ow! Problem is, really, you just. There we go. Just awkward to fight around that block of a man, or a dead man. Hey look, it's Kronk. Yeah, kind of. He was quite an aggressive one, wasn't he? I'm surprised you were able to catch up, uh, catch him. He'll be a big help to my research, though. Keep the, up the good work, okay? Hey! <laughs> okay. Let's... Let's go get this, this cop. Go, let's go catch us a cop. Hopefully we don't have to chase it anywhere. We just, we just con confront. Hmm. Huh? It's actually kind of tempting to go at like walking and see Halloween decorations and whatnot tonight. Am I going to have to fight this guy primarily with Luigi? I guess it would make sense. Okay. Uh. Now he's going to... Okay. Give me a second. Give me your shades, boy. Oh no! My Gucci! Okay. He doesn't have any more. Oh. He does have more. Okay. And there's no more water. This might actually be a relatively easy fight, comparatively. If so, I appreciate. Oh, please don't have more... Okay. Just round two. Oh, 
Give me them shades, boy. Okay, I tripped him. Give me them cheeks. I wish it. No! God damn it. Okay. Nope. Don't don't step in the water. Okay, got him. Now give me that butt. Give me that butt. It's smacking time. And oh come on! He has two HP left. Okay. He's not getting that much more complicated, which I kind of appreciate. I, I was hoping they would have just like a smidge more, but you know what? Oh boy. Well, there are no donuts in this hell backpack. You in Goo Land now. And we get the. We get the thing. Huh? <laughs> okay, is there anything else in here that I should be aware of? It doesn't really look like it. It's mostly just garbage. Which is kind of good, because I actually have to go. Shell needs help with her costume, and honestly, I think this is a pretty good stopping point. I could bring the part back and get access to... ...stuff, but I think... I think I'll just leave that excitement for next time. I am a tired boy, and I was a cranky boy. Okay, so let's pick this up properly. Yeah. Has it saved? I don't know if it saved when I switched areas. Uh, I guess let's clear this out real quick. I wonder if you played Concrete Genie. It's on the PS4. I wanted to, but it came out during a really busy time for me. And so I put it up to a vote and it did not win. I might at some point if it ever goes on sale, because it looks like a really charming, cute game. Uh we got to play the uh we got to play the demo at, at PAX West. And it was cute. And we really enjoyed it. But you know, I only have so much time. And so I'd have to do a one-off. And they didn't send me a free copy, so doing a one-off on like a $40 game is kind of rough. I'd rather spend my money on stuff like um, Luigi's Mansion 3, for example, that I know I'm going to get my money's worth out of. If that makes sense? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah.